Good morning, guys. Should I say early afternoon? It's just after 12 o'clock right now. Got the truck fired up. It's warming up outside right now. I'm uh, going to start on the north end of the line, and if there's nothing at that gray bush, I'm pulling all those rams and moving them to the new bait. Up last night and did some weasels, did five of them. Uh, the other five are dirty and I'm gonna wanna wash them before I board them. Weasels here will be done tomorrow night if they're not already, they don't take long to dry. A day or two, yeah, they're dry already. All right, enough babbling. Let's get out there and see if we can pick up some dogs today. First stop of the day, I decided if uh, it hasn't hit, we'll entice it with one of these weasel carcasses. Nah, it's all fluffy snow, I don't see any tracks. Not a one. Conor bear's still set up here, I can't, never looked at the other end. All right, we'll make this up and it don't have many more chances here, put it that way. It's just lucky we're opening up that big bait in the that bush that we had in about five more days, so. Alrighty, we're at our Lindsay culvert here. I see the snow plow went by and that's a good reason to set in the culverts. It doesn't affect him at all when he's throwing snow. And while I'm coming down here, I'd like to throw a shout out to a guy who's been with me since my subscribers were single digit. He's got his own YouTube site too. He's Stalker Steve, good guy. You guys should give him a look. He's a gun enthusiast and he knows his wood. There's no doubt about it. Well, we got a mouse in this one. Oh, well, we'll throw him in as added bait. I forgot to bring a weasel down, but this one really doesn't need it. It's doing all right. So we'll make her up. And again, appreciate you, stalker Steve. Thanks for being there right from the beginning, buddy. Well, here we are at Lindsay's big bait again. I can see that one through the back there that I uh, moved is still set up big as life back there. So very disappointed in the way this bush has turned. But they have their hot and their cold spots. That one's still sitting there. Looks like a fox went through it. That one's still sitting there. knocked down I'm gonna pick it up a bit lots of fresh snow couldn't see my tracks driving in could be really scary at that gray bush going into that back part there either damn and that one's standing snowed under something went right through it looks like a little weasel all right I'll make this up well we're at the cow bush now the one up in that corner not touched there's tracks through there I might have to stop there and just see what's going on and in here, these two are still not touched, so. Not sure if there's anything in here or not. Nope, they're both still standing. That one's standing. Wow, what kind of day is this gonna turn into? So far, nothing out here. No tracks, nothing. And those are both still quite accommodating. Well, I'm gonna have a coffee and think this out. I haven't caught anything yet today, so. Hmm. Looks like a track coming through there last night. Probably a deer hit it, but 
can't see the snare. Maybe there's a fox buried in the snow. Who knows? The way the wires knocked down here, I would guess that it was a damn deer. It was. All right, I'll make this up and we'll check that one up here, whatever it is, 50 yards up there, and then we'll hit the uh, train tracks. Well, my track's all covered in here too. Brought a, another reason in for this box. It's only been here one day, one day. I keep saying tomorrow and uh, yesterday, but I'm meaning two days apart. I only check every other day. Bunnies in here. Don't see any more weasel tracks. I'm gonna shut you off and do this. I'll be right back. I already got that box made up, cow head. Man, I really thought they'd be in through there. Oh, oh there you go. I don't want to say finally, but finally. That is more than enough time. We had them in here. And I don't see that ram either. That's definitely a red. Birds were just starting to come and pick at them. Well, how's that for kicking her into overdrive at the uh, train tracks? Not a catch here all year and we should get a fox and a coyote. It's like I tell you guys, you just never know out here what can happen. Don't lose heart. Sometimes it's really hard, but then again, sometimes it's not too bad. So that's a beautiful little fox. Probably the one kicking all my snares around. Nice job. We'll make this back up and then we'll get over to that coyote and make that back up. All right, we got that one made up again. That one over there is made up again. We will get these two guys to the truck. We've caught a coyote everywhere now, so that's awesome. Nice looking dogs. Well, we'll get out to that gray bush. I think if we don't have anything there, we're gonna pull everything because this snow is gonna make that a nightmare. Ah, I hope my next uh, clip is from inside there and then at least then we know we got in there. Oh well, out to the truck with these two brutes. It's pretty quiet in here. And a big elk go through here. Oh, right down my track. I hope you're not kicking rams out. I decided it wasn't too bad getting in. This is pretty floppy stuff. Drove 60 clicks an hour through the field. Snow flying everywhere, but I cleaned out some pretty good tracks, so... That's still standing. And so is that one. What do we got here? Deer. Looks like the box is still standing and everything. Oh, there was a gunshot. I can hardly wait till that stops. Okay, we're not set off or anything. 
I am going to shut you off and throw this weasel I brought in here. We'll pick it up after. Ah! I just snowed all over myself again, so. And we'll dry it off, hit the truck and have a coffee, I guess. And a smoke. I decide to leave him here one more time. Get around to the other side of that bush. I'm kind of excited to check those five rams. Maybe add a few more. Let's go see. Well, I'm at this new bait. I walked in and checked the three rams back in here. Had two box and one nothing. So I changed it up a little bit on those two box so they got less opportunity to go around. So we'll give it a day or two again, two days. I don't know how we say tomorrow, but I mean two days. I got one just up at the top of the rise there in the bush. Two rams and a double box, so. Sure, a lot of ravens came off of this bait when I drove into the field. They're just waiting for me up there. They're waiting for me to leave. Oh well, we'll get up there and check that next one. All right. This is that other little site. It's only... Boy, it looks like somebody went right through that one. And that one's still set up too. I don't know about this box. I wonder if I'll be able to find it. Yeah, there it is. That side set up. Looks like most tracks are on that side. And the other side set up. Bait and everything. So nothing here either. Give them a little bit of time. They're not used to seeing uh, Uncle Duane out here all the time, so they'll get used to the truck and everything. And oh, I really thought we'd have one or two here. Huh. Oh, well, you just never know. We'll hit, where are we going next? The lynx bush. See you over there. Track snowed right in again. Looks like we had a visitor there. He looks like a fairly large one. Yes, he is. Ah, that is a nice big one. Huh, I'm gonna make that up on the way out. I was wondering if we were gonna catch a weasel today. Nice. You know we're looking for dogs though. All kinds of little tracks in here and before the snow. Apparently nothing on my trail though. That one's still set up. That one's still cocked in the tree. And that one on the ground, both nice big loops. Looks like something hit this one. Yeah, they're coming on to them now. They're using those trails. Well, we're at this culvert again. We've caught four weasel and a skunk here so far. I'm a lot more careful walking around this corner. And nothing today. Well, we'll give it a little enticement here and 
maybe set it down a little bit at less of an angle. I like them going down into it. We're at our Bentley and Chase here. The Bentley side wide open, looking good. Ready for a coyote. There were tracks in here, but I know these are bunny crossing here because there's lots of bunnies in here. More bunnies. Nice big loop down there. Man, we got moose and elk in here. Got that mink box up here. Well, the conifer sprung on this one, but I don't see anything. Put our little enticer up there. Nice big weasel. Awesome. Well, we'll get him out. I guess all we got left now is the crown. We'll get over there and see what's happening. I don't see my loop in there. Huh. I see it here. Bunny rabbit went right through there. That's cool. This, however, is a dog. Not a very big one, might be a fox. Went that way. Damn right I'm being careful. Sprung and gone. Breakaway. Well, checking this bottom level out. We don't have much left here. And with the amount of tracks, probably a good call. Fox, got you a couple of weasels today. Oh well, that'll pay the gas. And I do like getting out, so. They're getting pretty icy on those wheel wells. Lots of snow out here, though. Oh, we'll, we'll get home and put these guys in the shop. We're back in the house now. Those two on the uh, left there for tomorrow night. I'm hoping this guy's ready. He's still pretty solid. This guy's loosening up, but still solid. Another night won't hurt him. These two I just brought in, so I got 17 coyotes and one fox hanging out there. So we're under 20 again. These two get done tonight, but they both got to go into a get washed. They're both awful bloody. So I'm going to leave the fur as it is tonight. And tomorrow when the stretchers are needed for those two after they're dried, then I'll peel some off. Oh well. Not a great day, but you know what? I had fun. Hope you guys uh, liked riding along. Keep moving forward.